All praise be to Allah. Highly is He exalted. Glory be to Him. All the praise and the grace are due to Him. To Him is it the praise in the beginning. Glorified be His names and highly exalted are His attributes. And to Allah belong all the fair names, so pray to Him with, with them. And stay away from, they, from those who deviate with regard to His names. And I bear witness that Allah is one having no partner, a declaration, but I pray to Allah to keep it for me and for you with Him in His treasures. We find it the day we meet Him on a day when people cannot avail of the wealth or the children, but those who have sound hearts. And I bear witness that our Prophet and our example, Muhammad wasallam, was sent as a mercy to all that exists. He was sent at a closer date as a warner and bringer of glad tidings. He conveyed the message and fulfilled his duty and advised the nation and removed ambiguity and strove in the way of Allah in due manner until he passed away. He left it behind him as clear as the day of the light. Nobody would be misguided except those who are rich. O oh Allah, send you peace, blessing and mercy unto the Prophet Muhammad his family, his companions, and those who follow his guidance until the day of judgment. O oh Allah, let us drink from his fountain, a drink passed to us by his noble hand, after which we suffer no thirst. O oh Allah, let us stay with him until, until... And let us die only when you are pleased with us. Brothers and sisters in Islam, أخروف أنا قلت لك لا هذا هذا يزعج الترجمة والله لو سمحت يعني ما أعرف أنا هذا في مقصود والله. And whoever is ignorant about it is really ignorant about this life and the life to come. Hence, it, the early Muslim predecessor paid great attention to it, and they used to teach their children at very early time of their state, as they taught them the verses of the Qur'an. The Prophet وسلم, encouraged Muslims to learn them. The Prophet said, whoever learns Allah's names will enter paradise. And we explain to you that one of the meanings of the word learn them is to really learn them and also is to live according to these names and also it means to worship Allah with these names and also it means to make dua using these names and also it means to mention them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has 99 names. It's not a difficult issue and <coughs> Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has only 99 names. The Prophet وسلم, said, whoever learns them will enter paradise. Imam al-Tirmizi, may Allah be pleased with him and others, collected these names in a hadith narrated by a number of narrations. And I referred to this hadith in a different khutbah. And after mentioning the hadith, he said, It is Allah, the only God, 
the most merciful, the most gracious, the overpower, the omnipotent, the creator, the cherisher, the sustainer, the fashioner, the uh, uh, provider, the all knowing, the one who withholds and the one who gives abundantly and all the other names, 99 names. Teach your children these names. Let them learn these names as in a sheep. It will be really wonderful if our children learn these names of heart, so they live by these names. Because when you live according, when you lead your life according to these names, you'll be happy. And when you live according to these names, you know your position in this life. So when you come across a difficulty, when you come across a crisis, when you come across a difficult situation, when you face anything in this life, one of Allah's names will then strike your mind and that name will explain to you where you should be. Where, what should you do about this difficulty? How you should face it? These names, they gather everything. These names help you to ponder over the Quran. The Quran about which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, shall they not ponder over the Qur'ans or are their hearts sealed up? The Quran is based on these names. Allah's names. Whether in terms of the belief, the person they talk about our belief, the, or the verses they talk about the act of worship, or the words they talk about uh, the stories of the prophets, or the verses that talk about the hereafter and what will happen after death. All these you find in the names of Allah. In brief, so <clears throat> in brief, if you read the names of Allah, then you will understand the Quran. Today, we will elaborate more on these names. And I said to you that we will start with the names that create and maintain in your heart loving for Allah. If you look at names, all the names of Allah, you will see that a section of them creates and maintains love for Allah in the heart. And another section creates and maintains in the heart awesome from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala <clears throat> and you'll find another section that creates and maintains in the heart submission to Allah but we will start with the names that creates love for Allah in our heart and when Muslims talk about love, they feel a little bit shy. And maybe they think of something else. Because, unfortunately, the words of love, we use them only out of context only in small things, only in bad things. However, love is an innate characteristic of every human being. Love and it is an innate characteristic of every human being. And Islam establishes relation on the basis of love. Islam establishes relations on the basis of love and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the Quran in more than a place talked about love but this but it does not mean the cheap love it means the valuable love the love that is based on a mission the love that makes you a valuable human being in this life not the love 
that makes one wondering between a drink and a look and a privacy. This is not love. This is Satan that controls your heart so that he takes your heart away from what is serious. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala talked about man's nature and he says, and you love wealth so much. This is your nature. Our inner self has been molded in this way to love wealth. Is loving wealth haram? No, it is not haram. But what comes after that, what comes out of this love, could be either haram or halal. So if love for wealth drives you to use it as an act of obedience of Allah, to spend it seeking the last pleasure, then this is a great wealth. And you will be a great worshiper of Allah. Well, being rich is not. It's not a catastrophe, but it is a grace that Allah blesses you with if it is used in seeking Allah's pleasure. And that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, fair seeing has been made to people wealth, loads of wealth, children and women. And heaps of gold and silver, and horses, cattle, land. Is that a disbelief? No, it is not a disbelief. Allah did not say that. Is that misguidance? No, that's not misguidance. Allah did not say, say, say that. But Allah said, this is the pleasure of this worldly life. But what do you want from this worldly pleasure? Do you use it? as a traveler or do you worship this pleasure if you worship this pleasure this worthy pleasure then it is something that you have to see how Allah would protect you from that but if this worthy pleasure you have it in your hand and you don't have it in your heart if you use it as a means and not as an objective then it is great to have it Uthman ibn Affan may Allah be pleased with him Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed him with wealth and he did not hold this wealth and he was not mean but he knew where to spend his money. The Prophet وسلم, said about Uthman that Uthman will never be affected by whatever he does afterwards. Uthman was a great man Man also by nature loves beautiful things. This is our innate characteristic. Those who do not love beauty means they have distorted nature. Those who do not look around and feel comfortable and feel delighted when they see the beauty of the universe and then say, glory be to Allah. He is indeed the best of creators. Look at all aspects of the universe around you. You'll see that all of them are messages sent to you by Allah. And all these signs, they tell you that everything other than Allah is perishable. Look at the green areas and the water running here and there. You will see that all of them celebrate the names of Allah. And in everything there is a sign that shows that Allah is the only God this wonderful universe around you. When the verse of contemplation was revealed, what does the word contemplation mean? It means to ponder over. When this verse was revealed, the Prophet ﷺ cried. This verse was revealed at night, and the Prophet ﷺ went out for Fajr prayer, and he was crying. And the Sahaba cried because of the Prophet's cry. Those Abu Bakr, Umar, and those who were there cried. And then Umar said, Oh, Messenger of Allah, I save you with my father and my mother. Why are you crying? The Prophet said, 
a verse has been revealed to me well to those who read it and do not ponder over what ayah is it O messenger of Allah this ayah you found it in the last verses one of the last verses in Al Imran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the night and the day indeed in the creation of the heavens and the earth and the alternation of the day and night as signs for those who think those who remember Allah who are standing up and sitting down and lying on their side and they think of the creation of the heavens and the earth and they say our Lord you have not created this uh, for no reason our Lord save us from hellfire now this way this is the way that you should perceive the wonderful universe around you Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala who created seven heavens one above the other Allah says that you will not find a defect in Allah's creation. Think once and again, think three and four times. You will definitely see no defect in them. So the more you think, the more you will be sure that there is no defect in Allah's creation. It's a wonderful creation and it is created by Allah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beautiful and he likes beauty. Hence, you will see around you this creative, this creation, wonderful. It happened to me once. I welcomed somebody coming from the desert area. And when I say this, I mean places where you do not find trees and and grazes and all the beautiful things around us so we went to a green area a wonderful green area made by allah and this man then said a wonderful word he said if this is the world so what about the hereafter what about the paradise paradise is it greater than this i have never seen something so beautiful like that what is this what is this? This is so beautiful. Look at yourself. You will see how beautifully you have been created. So that Allah will make you even understand the meaning of the word beauty. Loving your parents is, an, is another innate characteristic that you have in your heart. By nature, people love their parents, and Allah commands us to be kind to them. Your love for your brother, for the sake of Allah. The Prophet وسلم, described this love as the strongest hand hold. Uh, the Prophet ﷺ said, the strongest handhold is love for the sake of Allah. If you hear this word, the Prophet ﷺ said, the strongest handhold of faith is love for the sake of Allah and hatred for the sake of Allah. And the hadith has been stated, whoever loves for the sake of Allah and hates for the sake of Allah and gives for the sake of Allah and withholds for the sake of Allah has perfected his faith. So you love for the sake of Allah, and you hate for the sake of Allah, and you give for the sake of Allah, and you withhold for the sake of Allah. If you do this, you have perfected your faith. The Prophet ﷺ commands you that when you love your brother and you love him for the sake of Allah, you should love him for the sake of Allah so that this love will never will never disappear from your heart. A man wanted to visit his brother and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent him an angel in a human form and he asked him, where are you going? I'm going to visit a friend, a brother in Islam. I'm going to visit a brother in Islam. The angel asked him, 
do you not going to visit him for any other reason? I said, no. No, I said, I swear, I have gone to just visit him as a brother in Islam. Is there any, any business between you and him? Is there any blood relation between you and him? He said, no, no, it's just brotherhood in Islam. So the angel said, Allah sent me to you. Allah has sent me to you to give you the glad tiding, to give you the glad tiding of Allah's forgiveness and give you the glad tiding of paradise because he, this man has completed, perfected his faith. If you love your brother for the sake of Allah, tell him. Tell him, I like you for the sake of Allah. Well, if one of you goes to his brother and says to him, I like you for the sake of Allah, so what do you think, the what way he will respond to you? I see, the people may think of something else, and that is because the context is distorted. It's just, I like you for the sake of Allah, and I... Ask Allah to bear witness that I like you all for the sake of Allah and I pray to Allah to gather us all around the Prophet's fountain in the hereafter. The most beautiful thing in this life is that you love your brother for the sake of Allah. Love your brother for the sake of Allah. Love for the sake of Allah is a very important aspect of Islam. One of the levels of of this love, in fact, one of the greatest level of this love is that you love Allah and you love His Messenger. If you want to taste the sweetness of faith, if you want to feel the cool in your heart, then listen to the hadith in which the Prophet said, three things whoever has them will find the sweetness of faith, three characteristics. Whoever has them will find the sweetness of heart. What are these three things? All these three things evolve around the word love. The first, that you love Allah and His Messenger the most. Second, that you love your brother for no reason but for the sake of Allah. Third, that you hate becoming a disbeliever after Allah saved you, saved you from disbelief as much as you hate being cast in hellfire. Inshallah, this talk will be continued, inshallah, next Friday if Allah gives us life. And if we die, we pray to Allah to accept us all in paradise and gather us all around in the fountain of the Prophet Muhammad. Seek Allah's repentance, so Allah, Allah's forgiveness, and He will grant you.